Hey guys, this is episode number 12 in Paper World Tutorials. In this episode, we will talk about transition from storybook look to paper world look. So this means that you can make your scene look like an illustration or a drawing and make a change to layered paper world scene. In other words, from a flat drawing to layered paper cut scene. And uh, we will use um, a scene which is included with Paper World to make this effect. Uh, this is a mountain scene uh, with uh, some mountains, a flag on top of the mountain, some clouds and uh, the little fox sitting here. So what makes up this Paper World look like layered uh, paper cut elements are mostly shadows and paper edge. Because when our eyes see a shadow here, which is the first mountain cast on the second one, our brain tells us that these two items are on different distance from camera and this is not a flat drawing. Uh, of course, when we make the parallax effect added to this, this is uh, one other thing which says that it's not flat. But mostly it's uh, created by these shadows. And to make it look like it's all on one paper, like on illustration, we will make the shadow very small or narrow, like here. So these two scenes are identical, otherwise, uh, uh, other than the shadows. And this is what makes the different look. And to make it look like our illustration, is changing into layered paper cut scene, which is this second one. We will only animate the settings of shadows and paper edge. So just with uh, changing some of these control layer settings here, we can create a transition from one look to another. And uh, I will start with this uh, final uh, look of the scene. So. Uh, we will uh, have this as the final scene and now we want to make a transition so that it first is uh, like a flat drawing and then changes to this paper cut style. So I will create uh, keyframes for a few shadow settings here. Just clicking on this, uh, the shadow color, shadow size, size coefficient, uh, shadow opacity, and the last one will be paper edge coefficient, this one. Where our transition ends, let's say at five seconds. Now uh, we go back in time where we want our transition to start, like four seconds here. And then I will just copy the settings for these uh, controls from this uh, uh, drawing style scene. So I know that uh, what they are, but, uh, you can copy this if you are making this transition. So we'll change the settings here, the shadow color to light brown, maybe lighter even, like this. Then shadow size will be uh, 5. Shadow size coefficient to zero. Shadow opacity to 20. And paper edge will be 0 0.2, 0 0.02, 0 0.02, very small. So now we have, we have only changed mm, five settings here. And you can see it totally changes the look. So we have created keyframes. When I press U for this main controls layer, you can see there are two sets of keyframes here. The first in the beginning of our transition and the second set where the transition should end. So when we now RAM preview this, you can see the transition happening over the entire scene. 
But now when we look at this, you can see the transition happening. And of course, these settings or keyframes uh, values are just guidelines. You can uh, change these and make here the ease uh, out for the shadow size. And you can change the colors depending what your scene uh, looks best with. So basically, it's just a question of shadows and uh, animating these from very small and narrow to soft and wider shadow. Okay, so this is one way to do this, but you can also use an alt alternative way and add some more interest to this transition from one look to another. So we will use... Um, so I will first here delete these keyframes. We want this scene to represent only this paper cut style. And now it's like it was before. And now we can use these two scenes, which are identical, other uh, than the shadows, and drag these into new comp. So I will take first this paper cut style and drag this into new comp. And then take the, the story style scene and drag this on top of the first one. And I will uh, rename this comp also, so we know what's going on here. So this is, let's say, a style transition. Okay. And we will also zoom in a lot so we know, we can see better what's happening here in timeline. So let's make it from three to four. Okay, somewhere here to four. About so now we will use a transition which is included with paper world to uh, change this one style to another. And transitions you can find all here under the folder number seven and here uh, what best suit for this effect are simple transitions because these have soft edges and feather transition and this uh, is best to use for this effect so i will take this first round and drag this into the scene to be the top layer and we can now see that uh, there is a marker cut uh, i'll drag this uh, so that it starts where i want the transition to start and then we will move to marker time and now we will set the track mat mode here of this first layer which we want to um, animate out we want this to change to another one so uh, track mat mode of the top layer I will change this to alpha inverted mat So we will have to trim our layers. Uh, this uh, second scene, uh, we will trim this to start where the transition starts. So when we go one frame back, the, we only have this story there. And um, this also makes the rendering much faster. And then we go to the cut marker time. And here we trim our uh, story first part of the scene illustrated style to be ending here. So Now you can see this transition is much more softer than the previous one we did for the whole scene. And you can use different um, shapes of uh, simple transitions, different simple transitions to do this 
and uh, we can even add here at the same time of the style transition um, animate the z position of uh, element layers again using just one uh, controller in the scene and then it adds this uh, vertigo effect or dolly zoom effect uh, so the uh, layers are pushed into the distance and um, just animating this z position from a lower value to bigger value so this is one way you could add uh, an extra interest into your scene and uh, tell a story from going from illustration to animated paper cut uh, scene thank you for watching this episode and um, in the next one we will take a look at uh, how to make continuously moving scenes or backgrounds with paper world and if you like this tutorial then please also subscribe so you get notified when we add more to this channel thank you bye